is how great, you know how great this job is? This job is so great that no other uncle before you was ever given it. No other nation before you ever had this job. How do I know? Allah says it in Surah Dubayina. وَمَا أُمِرُوا إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُوا لَهَا مُخْلِسِينَ لَعْبُدِينَ خُنَفَاءَ وَيُقِيمُوا الصَّلَاةَ وَيُؤْتُوا زَكَاةَ وَذَلِكُ دِينُ الْقَيِّمَةَ That they were not commanded, the other nations that came before you, they were commanded to do nothing but worship Allah and make the deen pure for Him. Establish salah, pay zakah, وَذَلِكُ دِينُ الْقَيِّمَةَ That was the pure deen, that was the right deen. No other ummah was ever given the job of standing in the foot place and following in the footsteps of messengers. No one, because there was always going to be somebody else to come. All Allah wanted from the previous nations was you just hold on to the message until another messenger comes. And they couldn't even do that. But Allah conferred upon this ummah the command of Allah. This is one of the hukum of why this nation, even though we are the last, we will be the first. Because we are nations without a messenger. We are nations without a messenger. There's a hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that tells you the greatness of this ummah. The greatness of this ummah. Our Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was talking to his companions one day. And he told them, he told them this. He told them, you know what? You believe in me while you've seen me. You believe in me while you've looked at me. While you've seen me and you've heard me and I can teach you. He said, but there will come people after you who will believe in me and they will have never seen me. They will have never seen me. They will only have heard of me or read about me. And he said that the reward of, for one of them, the reward for one of them is like the reward of 50. And the Sahaba asked, 50 of us or 50 of them? He said, that 50 of you. One of their salah is the equal to like 50 of the salah of the Sahaba of our Rasul Sallallahu in Ajib. One of their days of fasting is gets the same reward of like 50 of the days of the Sahaba's fasting in Ajr with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the greatest hasanah, this is the greatest time. And the, and, and, and the ulama have explained why, why, why is it so great? Why is the reward so great? A lot of the ulama has said, and I, and I was reading this from Shaykh Uthaymin rahimahullah ta'ala, because these people whom our Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was speaking about, they will be living in a time that is similar to the times that Sahaba radiallahu anhu lived in. in a, they will be living in a world that is against Islam. The whole world in mass has turned against them. The whole world is fighting them. The whole world is abandoning them and tossing them out and throwing them out and killing them and maiming them and oppressing them. The whole world is against them. But the difference is they have no prophet to lead them. There is no wahi coming from Allah. Brothers, please come forward. The difference with this nation that has the reward of 50 of the Sahaba is that there is no prophet to guide them. There is no wahi coming from Allah to tell them what to do and do this and do that. There is no one to go to and question, Ya Rasulullah, what do we do? Sallallahu The wahi has stopped. The messengers have gone. But these people whom the Messenger of Allah was speaking about are still struggling. They are still calling to Allah. They are still obeying Allah and worshipping Allah on this earth by themselves, alone, with only the Qur'an and the Sunnah to guide them. This is why the reward is so great, is that they are holding firm even though it's like holding on to a hot coal. They are holding firm even though there is no leadership amongst them. This is this Ummah. This is this Ummah, brothers and sisters. You do not understand how great the reward Allah wants for this Ummah. It is un immeasurable. Immeasurable. Just to be a Muslim in this, in this generation is reward all by itself. It makes you a stranger in this life. But Ibn al-Qaim al-Jawzi rahimahullah said there are greater strangers than the strangers. He said the strangers are Muslims because they're strangers to the world. He said the even greater strangers are the strangers who are holding fast to the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. For it is the sunnah that makes one strange. So they are the strangers of the strangers. He said, but there's an even higher maqama. There's an even higher station than that. That is the highest of stations that everyone should strive to achieve. And that is the station of the du'at. That is the station of those who not only are Muslim, they are not only holding fast to the Quran and the sunnah, but they are actively involved in trying to give 
They are actively involved in trying to correct the world, as our Rasul Sallallahu said, that the Ghuraba are al ladina yuslihun al nas. They are those who correct the people when they go into corruption. He said, these are the strangers of the strangers of the strangers. And there is no greater position than them. And he said that we owe them a debt of gratitude because they are the people who prevent Allah from destroying creation. They are the people who prevent the adab of Allah from coming on these people on, on, on the earth. As Allah says, we would not destroy a people as long as there are warnings amongst them. So these people, these du'at, these people who are standing on the front lines telling people, no, 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 this is right and this is wrong. They are the furqan between good and evil. We owe them our thanks because they prevent the adab of Allah from all of us. We owe them our gratitude, we owe them our dua, and we owe them our support. Because truly, wallahi, they are on the front lines. They are holding it down for the rest of us. So we need to at least, at least look at them. At least look at them and say, Jazakallah khairan. How can we help? How can we help you? How can we support you? Even if I have three jobs, how, how can I help you do what you're doing? At least we can do something for them. If not, at least we can stand before Allah on the last part of the night and ask Allah to give them strength and to give them the tawfiq and to give them the quwa and the ability to keep doing this job because if they stop, if there are no more of them left, I fear for the rest of us. I don't know what's going to become of us if there are no more people doing this job. And inshallah, brother Abu Hafsa is going to continue off. He's going to give you the real deal about it, inshallah. I'm going to say that 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 I'm going